which was of Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we want to see Jesus. As a mommy can kind of if you honey in some part, it try to me, you know, you more a year at you know, and you do no back home and some panel said you honey to the command, it try a year at you know, me more back on. Sorry, the try a year to me, you know, me more yet to you know, and a year no back home. We looking at Babylon. Now, he left for people one of our bars or best or a fashion as cinema and all about Filippo Alphabet said that we're getting a little on chain. No, because you're so rare, you perceive who you so. And what about Philip or Alfie beside our Galilee and on chain? No, because you're so rare. From last week, we have started outlining something profoundly and prophetic from God's word. And the scripture has looked at the 21st chapter, the 31st to the 36th verses. Luke chapter 21, verses 34 through to 36. Luke, the 21st verse, the 34th to the 36th verses. The Bible said, Take heed to yourself, least any time your hearts be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and the curse of this life so that the day come upon you on our words hey, my god take heed to yourselves at least at any time your hearts be overcharged with suffering and the drunkenness and curse of this life or with drunkenness and the curse of this life so that the day of the lord come upon you on our words for as a snare shall be upon all them that dwell in the face of the earth you he did not eliminate or alienate anybody out of the bible said for as a snare shall it come upon all them that dwell upon the face of the earth all them there ain't any exceptions would you deal with you knew that's not the point whether you are a Christian or a Muslim, whether you are a Hindu, a Krishna, a traditionalist, a spiritualist, whether you are, you know, um, what, what are they called, what do they call themselves? An atheist and the people, infidels, whatever you call yourself, it does not matter. Something is coming upon the face of the earth. It does not care. Whether you are MPP, NDC, PPP, whatever, whether you don't belong to any party, it does not matter. The Bible said, take heed. Something called judgment is coming upon the face of the earth. And it's coming upon everybody. Everybody will be account. It doesn't know, you know, a king, it doesn't know a chief, it doesn't know a president, it does not know a minister, it does not know anybody. There is something called the wrath of God that is coming upon the face of the earth to you. Something very intense is coming upon the face of the earth. That day, there is nothing like Fachami, Manshada. It's coming upon the face of the earth. And you think you have when you talk like this, you go like, why is he screaming? Because you cannot hear. You are dumb, dead, and deaf. That is why we keep staring, you know, screaming and yelling. Because your heart is darkened and dulled. You know, you cannot hear. And so when we come like this and we are disseminating the heart and the word of God, we will need you to understand that this thing is not eliminating anybody out of its way. Everybody has born wife, children. Everybody is part of it. Which and Zangoma, which doctors, fetish malams. There is something coming upon all of you. You cannot accept, escape except you repent. You tiawa. And accept and believe the Son of God, Jesus Christ, the bread of life, who takes away the sins of the world. He only has power to forgive sins. As a matter of fact, in John chapter 5, verse number 22, John 5, the 22nd verse, the Bible said, He is your judge. He is going to judge you. The Bible said, The Father shall judge no man. He has entrusted all judgment to the Son. The Bible said, And the Son shall judge you. And any, every, the Bible says, everybody should honor the son. Everybody, when you will be in free more, will be a, can you take your seats, please? Hello, bless you. 
Ubia eni wabani ni said you would be a journey ni no. As we know and not just feel that they do not honor nor respect nor revere the son of the living God. As a matter of fact, anything Christos, the world does not want to know because the world does not want to retain God in their memory. Sir, watch this. Turn this thing towards me. Let me hear myself. You know, the world does not hear, does not want to hear. It does not want to hear anything about the Christos. When you talk about the Christ, they go like you are imposing your religion upon somebody in any imposition of religion upon anybody. You need to be saved at all costs. Whether you know, because time is running out. Before I will allow this young man of God to read this thing to our hearing, let me turn this thing and make it very clear and very plain to everybody that is under the reach of the sound of my voice. Even the church have refused to teach and preach this truth, this revered and revealed truth and that is why you know the church is even sleeping we have become a damp dog we are done because we don't even know there is something that is coming emergent upon us and that is why the church does not even talk about it now we talk nonsense from the pulpits of god we talk all kinds of madness from the places of the church now church going has become a place where they can help you to get a visa it has turned into a place it's okay sir it, it has reduced the base on the thing it has come a place it has become like a place where i can get a husband it is a place i go to get a wife if i don't have a job then i need god to be used as some kind of santa claus to help me get a job that is what it has become so the real message of salvation has been abolished and thrown away the real message of redemption has been thrown away the real message of regeneration emancipation and the love of god has been thrown away the real message of the fear of God have been thrown away. The revelation uh, of judgment have been abolished. Now the people are even telling us these people are telling us that there ain't any Jesus who is coming. There is no Jesus coming. Everybody should enjoy themselves. There is no rapture. There is no second coming of Jesus Christ. The Bible said when the world is coming to an end in the it will amaze you that is what has come over the world and so the church has lost its focus and lost its message and lost its emphasis we don't have a message anymore now if they are telling if the church is telling us God will give you a visa and a car Pierre, what about the people who don't serve God and have a visa and a car who gave it to them who gave it to them Pierre, I know unbelievers they don't even fear they don't even respect God they have all of it I'm asking who gave it to them things if Uma we need Dawa, and Yama be Birohon Mwa when Zabeka. I'm telling you. But he is telling the Christians if you seek me first and my kingdom and my righteousness, all other things, you will not ask for it or fast or pray about it. When he is speaking, pay attention because he is a principal God and you need to understand when he wants to bless. God does not bless based on you know what you did. He blesses based on his sovereignty and blesses based on his principles. He blesses based or predicated upon his love. I'm talking to you. He will bless you irrespective of what you do. As a matter of fact, God can even decide to bless you even if you are an abortionist. I have seen God bless David who is a wife snatcher and God still blesses him because some of the blessings come by his sovereignty. I am God. 
and that's why I do it whether you accept it or not Job chapter 9 the Bible said you cannot ask him 1 to 14 you cannot ask God what are you doing I like verse number 13 and 14 how can we wake up in the morning and ask God why my husband did not wake up and why my wife did not wake up you don't have the nerve to ask those useless questions because God this is amazing I'm bringing it to the pivotal area God you can't ask him what are you doing yeah sorry I no pay not to me my sorry yeah say I'm sorry I no pay ya who beat to me could be several they say it didn't know I'm on one sorry I no pay me king I'm actually and I actually want my car and the Christ who used to suffer say there is something coming upon the earth upon us I loved her take heed and so be careful that word take heed it means that everybody should take precaution everybody must be vigilant everybody must be ready oh god that word ready because we are not ready everybody get ready because jesus is coming back again i like how the angels put it when the, they were looking up to heaven and the angels said this jesus whom you see going up will also descend from the same skies upon you and so this morning i want to talk to you it is not a matter of being religious it is a matter of relationship accepting jesus christ as your lord and your personal savior you have a relationship with the son of god that's what i'm talking to you about without a relationship with the son of god i'm telling you this day which is coming upon the earth will come upon you on our words I'm telling you, you better hear. But how can you have a relationship with the Son of God and live like the devil himself? How? Because as he is in heaven, so are we in this world. As he is in heaven. I don't believe that Sadia Mufuruma Bebrebe from the pulpit to the pew will be a Ayasi and a day. Tell you, a colonel Kumo, a free and penny for us from the top to bottom. Your software in Naka, the custom to you. I do one more home, crum, atom, a drawer, Nina, me, a slap, a two of my coming. I'm looking at the scripture and it says, Take heed to yourselves, not to other people. You better save yourself first. This thing that is coming is first to yourself. Least at any time, your hearts are not overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and the curse of this life. In other words, the curse of this life can overwhelm your heart. A human awinya, you know, can be an overwhelming weight upon you. A kununu awinya, you know, can make you backslide. The curse of this life and the deceitfulness of riches. I can tell you that this world can be deceptive. Oh yeah, you better hear the God's word. That is why we are, you know, yet come for years we, you know, present to you Jesus Christ, the Son of God. One poor Pia, one a planet, demon, so need the onion, and so to do a chin, one a chin, dear, dear. I was one woman to me, sir. When you're young, Kupoma, I'm not pay. Oh, Pia, what dear, that when you're for Christo, yes, you say, new and in the Krajinka, brother, we are Bregu, sister, we are Bregu because a bread and shut up, you link us so, and we'll be answer, mommy, to pray, and I cherry be a sassy so. So when I'm talking to the church. I am talking to the church to understand it is time to repent genuinely, sincerely because God judges the hearts and the motives. Hearts! <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. I want to tell everybody Luke chapter 21 verse 34. Trouble. 
Read it again. But just na mo nsha mo huye. Show ya. Na pocha. And salam no. Hen huye. Bra sona wutimu no. Hen huye. And crofo yire no ma. We tu agu o mo so no. Hen huye. And crofo kulu no. Ya we tu agu o mo so. Hen huye. Show ya. Na mo ni a ho pechire. You have not denied yourself. Anybody who is a Christian who says I have accepted Christ Jesus as my Lord and my personal Savior must deny themselves. Without the denying of yourself, you can't save the Lord. Self is something that becomes an impediment. It blocks us. Dear, the King of It blocks us. When the Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself, huh? as yourself he brings the standard to self love them as you love yourself therefore what you want others to do unto you do likewise to them you can't maltreat your wife and come and sit here and say you are a christian serving god you can't maltreat your workers and come and sit here and say you are serving god Dear, you cannot maltreat your husband I, oh my god i have met in recent time jezebelic women oh yeah especially as of my as i'm talking to you right now they know that you cannot divorce them and then they will want to maltreat your life and put you into a place where you cannot you know but what you don't understand is a sister and give your husband another wife yeah, God will kill you. What are you talking about? When Sandy bumped me, no one can God can kill evil women. Let's hand walk on our first John chapter two, first Samuel chapter two, verse number six. King of my mind, God, He also can kill. Anya antu anya ma, anya buruku. God can kill. Read the word of God. I read in Okum. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, careful. Yes, sir. 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 Wakume primu noa and a wujinum. Suba phone and ma a woman from where Christopher had the tina me fee. O Biaka Sofra Babeka was a home. Subano and a womb and I would treat you will be ba and what tea what the nasin won't minka and a for three years on won't mean fan a home count and I had it if ye Jimmy Pia Come on, I'm talking to the church. You better hear that. My cultural sister, you who are a bit too nine hour will come home. Over Soriano Pano, now Unipe Diana da Mochere. Tia, yeah! Osu, when you're here, dear. O cum, and why, dear? Now, a man, a man, a cock. On my son, quite some man, do when you're me, the many paqua, some man. No more fruit, Fred, and ya bosom. Yamme is the one that takes people to their grave. It is God. Oh, that kills and God that makes alive. It is God that takes people to their graves. You better hear the mind and the heart of God. It is God who takes all this. You better hear as my hear can any someone you did the other say and when we are born him. I'm telling you, say and when we are born him. Don't die in your sins. This is what I've been telling the guys. Yeah, Ezekiel 33 and verse number 11. I have been trying to tell them this revelation, but their hearts are so hardened and so rebellious. Their necks are so stiff necked that it cannot hear. Can you imagine? Read the word of God. Catch that one, say. Read the word of God. Ampara, Obonifo, Wonifo, New Wonin, Yamif. No one saw Bonifo Bessan, if you know, what to Bonim, New Inin, Yamif. Tianya, what to Bonin, New, and Yara Defer. God is not interested or does not take pleasure. He is not, you know, at peace and at pleasure when a sinner dies because the Lord knows what is in store for them. God. He does not take pleasure in the death of a. Be careful you don't die in your sins. 
ye bomo koko ye kasa chilem ye kasa chilem ono mama makuma ne mrasa na munti asamu e wura dede wo hetema ne ma so that we can be able to walk in the fear of God we can be able to walk tini ya meka chilem we can be able to walk according to the prescriptions of redemption and salvation we are we can be able to walk and produce fruits of repentance fruit of repentance again sachira swapa tianyo so everybody sitting in this place this morning he told me to tell you the few the first two the word sign is the same word repent which simply means change your heart change your mind change your ways you know without repentance there cannot be life i'm talking about the life of god that after death there is that life oh yeah i'm not talking about you know this life in which we you will find ourselves i'm talking about the life of god that's not what i'm talking that's what i'm talking about but you say, "Mon sana, mon sana, free my kwam money so." Sign free my kwam money so. I don't think I'm moving away. Israel fee. I don't think the Christ will move away. Twenty nine. I was driving yesterday. You know, uh, right after there was a meeting. I don't know what which was driving. I mean, why? So you know, we're driving back home. I saw a banner. Very, very noble young man, twenty nine years old. You know, and they said, you know, um, um, uh glorious transition nonsense nonsense glorious fine transition glorious 29 years glorious i don't think there is any glory about that one why are you dying? They couldn't tell you that the wages of sin is death and it does not care what age you are. So there ain't any glory about such a stupid death. Glorious death. Glorious transition. Transition to what? One day, seven days. One day, 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 one we need a different truth for this hour. So, I want to join occultic sects and groups. I want to talk to you this morning. Tianya, people that have joined all these kind of uh, secret societies in this country today. If you are not part of Freemasons and you are a contractor, it is very difficult to get a contract. I'm telling you, the contract will still go through tender. It will still go through all the processes, the modalities, the formalities. Yet, you can never have it. You will present your whatever. You will get a consultant to present your resume, whatever they call it. And present. Yet, you will never get a contract. Because you are not part of Freemasons. Tell you. We are so it's nothing about blood and sacrifices it's just um it's just um you know uh, uh some gentlemen's club you know gentlemen gentlemen i don't think so do not have other gods before me. Thou shall have no other gods before me. Oh yeah. Thou shall not make a craven image like Antwenyama. Thou shall not have a craven image like Agonoti. Thou shall not have a craven image like any you 
useless river by now the river in your hometown should be able to bring you electricity by now the river which you refer so much in your home by now Ebebabe <laughs> Also, I know you know we uh, when we went to Alabasta City first, or Wapa used to be in the area, big snake, and the villagers used to say that it is their God. I say, Lord, please, every morning this snake will go to the south, and the evening goes to the north every day. And the villagers believed it was their God. And my all my prayer was that I don't want to trespass. I want the snake to come to our yard. I want the snake to come into our yard. We have a very big yard. I want the snake to come there. One day, Pastor Paul called me and said, Papa, the snake has finally entered our yard. Because snakes can go under gates and all that. I'm like, yeah! I'm saying, thank you very much. Gather the young men. We are my home by it. Yet, check. A yichu. Catch it in. Get the head of the snake off. Oh, my new year. See, and it's yet. Nobody have swollen, nobody have died. No, everybody is still eating banku. Still, because he that is in Christ has overcome the world. Oh, yes, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. What are you talking about? He that lives in you is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He is the God. Of the Bible, he reigns, he rules. Oh, yeah, he has dominance and total and domination. You believe in somebody's scream? The earth is the Lord. And the fullness thereof, the world, and them that dwell in. He has founded it upon the waters and established it upon the flowers. The Bible said, Who shall stand in his holy temple? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing of the God of his salvation. The Bible said, Lift up your hands, O ye gates, be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, that the King of glory will come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty listen to the descriptions of god the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle the lord is strong and mighty the lord is mighty in battle the lord is strong and mighty the lord is mighty in battle jesus is strong and mighty he is mighty in battle jesus is strong and mighty he is mighty in battle jesus is strong and mighty he is mighty in battle jesus is strong and mighty he is mighty in battle jesus is strong and mighty he is mighty in battle jesus is strong and mighty he is mighty in battle jesus is strong and mighty he is mighty in battle he is a king of kings he is a lord of laws he reigns forever he rules forever he sits and throws in the cherubim of glory upon the message somebody scream yeah! for jesus you maybe see the clap those hands on for the Lord. My God. <laughs> and so when I begin to you know, put my 
discuss together. I'm looking at when I become born again, then I need to walk in the spirit. Yeah, everybody say walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. Because when you walk in the spirit, you cannot fulfill the lust of the flesh. That, that's what the Bible says. Walk in the spirit. You cannot walk in the spirit and you come to church, but you still smoke. You come to church, you know, but you are still a womanizer. You come to church, but you have no fruits. You say you are a Christian, but you don't have fruit. Everybody in this place, I want to finish my presentation this morning by telling you. Without denying yourself, you can, your marriage cannot even succeed. You will have to deny yourself. Matthew chapter 16, let's read it. Verse number, verse number 24 to 20 something. Read the word of God. Matthew 16, 24. Read the word of God. Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. And I just seen a sign for the say. Read English first. Matthew 16, 24. Read English first. Let, let, us tell, let us tell people that if I employ people to come and work in the company and they do not deny themselves, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care how skilled they are. They can't succeed. See, that is why I keep telling His Excellency, the President of Ghana, this is not partisanship issues. This is national issues. This is why I keep telling His Excellency, and I want to ask our mother, Mami Frima, you know, the Chief of Staff, to please get the message to His Excellency for me. Because if a man does not deny himself, no matter the money you give them as remuneration or pay in this administration, until they deny themselves. His Excellency have very great ideas. He's a very wonderful gentleman who have great ideas. I mean, if you listen to the president of Ghana, you will be amazed. The kind of ideas and concepts and synopsis, you know, he wants to do. The man is a very selfless person who wants to see things to happen. But it's a big but. The people that are surrounded him are selfish from the Jubilee House to the villages. Selfish people and when self is in the picture we are in a wrong position the moment somebody goes like me 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 the moment that is a problem read english then said jesus unto his disciples if any man will come after me any man if they will come after me let him deny himself let him deny himself and take up his cross self has to go away self appellations have to go away self mm, iconic you know uh, um, braggadociousness will have to go off self aggrandizement will have to step away your husband can never love you and you guys have a successful marriage without the person denying self. Self will have to go away. If Ghana police service does not deny themselves, they will be used as puppets. Puppets for the politicians for the rest of their lives. You know, that is why I love this white politicians so much. Like Theresa May. When she realized that the thing is not going her way. Oh yeah! Kamala, she resigns. She resigns. I want to tell the police service from the IGP to the constable or the private person. If they are asking you to make decisions that is against your faith and against your conviction, deny it and resign. Resign and walk away. Are you clapping? I'm going. Maybe can someone here you? It me and in the eve, in the eve where security issues have become an, a problem, and terrorism is terrorizing the existence of human beings all over the world. Look at what happened to our brothers and sisters in Sri Lanka on Easter Sunday. It was so amazing. 
when bombs, three bombs, no, four bombs were bombed in four different churches and three different hotels. And they bombed our brothers and sisters. And they bombed our brothers and sisters almost about three hundred and something they perished just in one day what did they do wrong they just went to church and that was their reward but blessed are those who die in the lord the spirit says yes they shall rest from their labor from henceforth and their works will follow them oh yeah the lord takes pleasure in the death of the saints and so we do not we are not afraid because nobody lives to themselves neither anybody dies to themselves so whether we live or die we belong to God so Jesus said do not be afraid of them that are able to kill this body but cannot touch the soul and spirit and destroy it in hell but rather be afraid of him who can kill the body the spirit and the soul and condemn it in hell in other words Jesus have made a public acknowledgement of hell 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 now in the eve of when christians are being persecuted right at our nose and our doorstep in burkina faso our people last two sundays were bombed in church so the church have been given an alert that you guys are on red alert the people want to kill you first they don't want they want to kill you first so you know the thing is on our game but now that we are putting ourselves together to see how we can put our game together and all that above all as the mountain surrounds Jerusalem so has the Lord compass his people round about now I know somebody is going to ask why didn't the Lord compass the Sri Lankan people because I'm a big issue finish that's what we believe even the Muslim believe that if you walk out of this place and a car knocks you down and kill they believe that's their fate how much more you born me out of his image and likeness now let me put it this way when i look at what happened at the conference center with these people when somebody is speaking instead of you to fa a bar a wa simnum gana for don't even want to be criticized like this government this government doesn't want to be criticized they want us to sing their praises and they want everybody to sing their praises but one way you youtube youtube they are your haters and your enemies because when they see danger they will even tell you go ahead and that is why in this country truth no kure ibini the people don't like truth. If you talk truth, they hate you. What time? Your authority will crap on him. So I want to ask, how? How come somebody in the eve of such security red alert? How come somebody pulled a gun in an event like that? Because of systemic failures in this country what happened last week is a revelation that this country is not prepared to face any security threat Dear, we are experts of the aftermath when the thing has already happened we should have done it this way we should have done that we should have said that we should have done that person shouldn't have done that but for how long can we go on to be doing the aftermath analysis and uh, all that kind of diagnosis or prognostics i want to speak to the government there are loopholes in our security too many loopholes in our security let's tighten up sometimes when the president goes to places and i look at i'm looking at so many security flaws 
that goes on. It's so amazing. When you are going to places like Moving Pick, they check you out. When they go into places like uh, Fiesta Royal, they check you out. When you are going to places like traveling out of the country, they take you through departure formality and check you out, security and all that. How come? Mosi, uh, Ghana Music Awards were an event for our celebrities. Celebrities. Really? Celebrities. Repent! Give your life to Christ. Are you clapping? Or you want to do something like that? Pierre! How come? We had almost about 10,000. Yeah, let me help these event people and just inflate the numbers for them. We had 10,000 people in one location. How come? Nobody was can for security purposes. How? So, they dropped these people that bomb our brothers and sisters in Burkina Faso dropped a bomb at the National Conference Center. Will you imagine what would have happened to this nation by now? And that is the same thing we treat the flood issues. It soon I started to turn. Very soon. I was away for waiting and so I was not abreast with what was going on. When I returned last Friday evening, I put on my phone and then the news started trickling in. Apparently, there had been a rain storm, I think on Tuesday or Wednesday, I can't remember which of the days it was. And then, just about a 45 minute out, out downpour, it has flooded! She has she bungalow places like, you know, the Tetequa. She has for circle as well. For how long? How long are we going to be this, you know, cynical and loose and frivolous? How long? And yet we all go to church. And the pastors are not bold enough. I keep telling you, all those churches where these honorable people go to, please ignore the monies they give to you. And tell them, honorable, there is work to do. We voted for you. We cannot, you know, have a right on our inv or on our franchise or invest. What are you talking about? The the Ghana you knew is not the Ghana now. This is a new breed of people. I'm telling you, and I'm telling everybody, you know, in this way, because of the same systemic the boys and the young men and all that. And I'm, I'm a lot of people have criticized and condemned Shatawale and Stone Boy. Well, guys. We don't condemn you. This morning, we, it is the act you committed we condemn. And so I'm going to invite Shatta to church next week. And invite some boy to church next week. Come to church! Next week, this is Shatta's seat. Next week, this is Stone Boy's seat. Come to Jesus! All you that are heavy laden and encumbered and he will deliver and serve you. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. The reason why all these people want to carry guns is because our system has failed. The police have failed. The pol uh, soldiers have failed miserably. And that is why even the politicians themselves are insecure. That is why vigilantism is in our country. And if you think this vigilantism is going to go away, it's a big lie. Pia! Somebody says, uh, throw your gun away because I've thrown man away, but his is in his drawers. <laughs> if you want peace, then you have to go for justice. And justice can only be found in truth. No kure. John 17, 17. English only. Let's read that. John 17, 17. Let's read that. Listen to, you know, I, I'm looking at 
Uh, if instead of empowering our police system, instead of empowering and let the laws work, let's have what we call rule of law. Let it work. Because nobody denies themselves. Everybody is selfish. That's all they want to know. So, may her even this card, um, national identification registration. I was, you know, at uh, my vicinity to go and do my and. Uh, had it not been for the grace of God, Mama Comfort went there, fought, 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 and uh, you know, went through Korea, you know, uh, man of God, and all that kind of thing. I go look at people's mothers and fathers who are queuing for days, days, days. It's Ghana, Masa. National SSI, no, this is business. I could room. Obi business, so in the national assignment, open so cross the line. They are my mom and crow first line. They are it in Utia 200 Ghana. Memo make a picture now. Obi ni omwa a trap picture. Now you're tom printer. I shall show you 200, 200, 200. It is it make 40 people 200. You remember, I'll cut and I'm in smart for cut and I'm in so I check cut her mom. This was what was happening. Oh, yeah, this was what was happening. And people are taking money and crossing lies for people and all. Because we don't deny ourselves. I won't bet you that Sabre Omunanam Kwanso or Mokwaso make us a wedum reading with three sonu a pampa. So, so my young cancer monchero. You can clap those hands. So, my young cancer monchero. So, radio no me and own cassa. Pianio. Sanctify them through thy truth. In other words, we have been polluted with the lie. So we need sanctification through the word of God. Thy word is truth. For your word is not true, it's truth. There's a difference. Truth, the embodiment, the personification, the entirety of truth, the absolute versatility. Of truth is God's word. Now, what you are the same way to tell you, Miss Ruth, to more one conquer got not registration center and got your bribe because who wanted to hear who wanted to hear what poor will ready you soon. Read the Matthew 16. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself, deny yourself, and take up his cross, and take up your cross, and follow me, and follow Jesus Christ. For whosoever will save his life, shall lose it. Whosoever will save his life, shall lose it. Will lose it. I'm telling you, the things you are more from Sika, more from Namudi Bejao, Zachariah chapter 1. Verse 2 to 6. Zachariah chapter 1. 2 to 6. He be beside with me. Every day, every day, I say, Read the word. The Lord had, had been so displeased with your fathers. Therefore, say unto thou unto them. Hey, if God is not displeased with our fathers, can be a surprise? Because women are children in bribery and corruption. Our own fathers can go by. And tell the oh, I go a mini pamunya no man and call. So there is no justice. John man and call. Read. Therefore said thou unto them, that saith the Lord of hosts, turn ye unto me, saith the Lord of hosts. Turn Christ. ye unto me, saith the Lord. And I will turn unto you. And I will turn unto you. Read. Saith the Lord of hosts. Be ye not as your fathers. Don't be as your fathers. Unto whom the former prophets have cried, saying, Read. That saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye now from your evil ways. Turn ye from your evil ways. And from your evil doings. Ka but they did not hear. But they did not hear. Said you make it come. He been so can Yeah. That's that's what they can do. Read the word. Now hearken unto me, saith the Lord. Your fathers, where are they? Your fathers, where are they? And the prophets. Do they live forever? One way they can do Freemason, Lodge, old fellows. One way they can do children. Where are they? Oh, I remember my father's friends. 
how they can all be because my father is a British trained person how they can all be in black suits with something lower abdomen and they are all lodgers lodge and in the Lord I'm going to question them who are women in my dear be waters and I see her most of the grandmasters live in this vicinity People get amazed how our church came into this vicinity and get amazed how it's thriving. You know, this vicinity, most of the occult grandmasters, they live here. Most of them died from this vicinity. There is a building down the road. If you go there, those days, Umushia, all that you can hear is but my words and my statues which i have commanded my servant the prophet did they not take hold of your fathers Real. and they return and say like as the lord of hosts taught to do unto us according to our ways and according to our doings so he dealt with us upon the four and twentieth day of the eleventh month read, which is the read, month of seba read the tree two two says oh baby same scripture zakaria it is a dikai you know what you know you know you know what can you tell you as a mama a hono hoko kobo a hono a hoko kobo a no pen no ebra yesu in chain no huh ebra yesu in chain i'm telling you munu muhomra yesu in chain Come to Jesus. And I want to use the opportunity. Many people have said all kinds of crazy things. I want to say to. This is prophetic. Please put a thing here. Bring the camera. I want to specially say to Shatawale. Stone boy is not your enemy. And stone. Shatta is not your enemy. Despite the fact that. You know we have different things that we believe. We are brothers. From everybody in this place, let us learn to forgive one another and move on. And I want your feud to stop here. Husband and wife, forgive. Wife and husband, forgive. MPP, NDC, stop this petty politicking because we are brothers and sisters. We are Ghanaians. Afflicting people with pettiness will not solve the problem. We have still not learned our lessons that Dr. J.B. Dankwa died in prison from this same petty, pol petty political rhetoric and, you know, pursuit. You have forgotten that Victor Salome died in prison. We have still not learned our lessons and we still want to destroy lives. Come to Jesus. When you come to Christ, he gives you the grace to forgive and move on. Stand to your feet. Let's pray. Are you clapping? This is sweet melodies in 94.3 FM. This is sweet flow. Nana, what is the uh, frequency? 102, 101, 102. All right. 102, sweet flow 102.1 FM. We are live in the city of Tamale. If this is your first time of listening, brace yourself. This is how it works here. Uh, every Sunday morning, it doesn't abate. It gets more and more belligerently aggressive. Uh, you will hear. When one can draw, you say, Unumno, because we call Facebook on the media to her channel. And so you will listen. So whether you want to, it's your first time, quickly get used to it. Truth, finish, boldly, courageously, briskly, 
It doesn't fear death, prison, or cells, or court. It doesn't fear any of that. It doesn't fear petty intimidation and all kinds of useless threats. It does not fear that. It is not afraid of, you know, and all that. I'm, I was going to mention national security. Where were you when these people were pulling guns? Where were you? And just like, you know, another government institution that I feel has been dormant for a very long time, town and country planning. Where are you? Wake up! Too many chaos. Even with our planning. I go to Kaswa a lot. And when I see there is no plan in Kaswa. Wake up! It's time for building inspections, building whatever, whatever, whatever. If they are building, help them to see they are doing the right thing. National security, where right? Where were you? Ajinye in here, I'm a big boy, I see a monitoring, so they can be here. Now, you're in the National Security Channel. May vampire that day. And some, and come over to be papa. When were you when people were pulling guns? An event like this is happening, which was a national threat, security, national threat, and you were nowhere to be found. And only two people can bring an engagement to a standstill. Now the organizers, you will sit up after your one year long preparation. Two people run it down. You better sit up. Because if you are not careful, these same people will collapse your award thing. Say a good amen. Christ, we share an opay as a dem dem ma we sa pe pe pe. No, whatever, whatever. Say a good 